It's hard work maintaining a garden encompassing 10 acres of the more than 100 acre horticultural center of the Pacific. Beautiful morning, Fort. But these volunteers keep coming back for more. And many of them have been around here for 20 and 30 years. And in most cases, they're, they're frequently more knowledgeable than, than many of the staff. I've been a gardener all my life. I grew up on a farm. <laughs> but uh, there's always more to learn. When you look at the number of staff versus the number of volunteers, it's an amazing ratio. Okay. The ratio? 15 paid staff, more than 200 volunteers, caring for 10,000 varieties of plants, conserving and restoring habitat, teaching landscaping and innovative programs to horticulture students and professionals, even opening the gardens for tours, weddings, and memorial services. It's like a really well kept secret so far. <laughs> We're trying to change that. Excellent. Good job. Clients from the Garth Homer Society have been volunteering at HCP since 2006. I like working here, and the best part is it's a nice day today. We can have lunch up here and everything. Yeah. It's more invasive. It gives our clients a real opportunity to experience other things, uh, develop skills, work in an inclusive setting, um, and working with nature. The little ones that are left, when just start cutting those. It's a great place to grow friendships, too. For me, that's a big thing because I've just moved to town. Camaraderie is definitely a big thing. Um, the evolution of the garden. And the evolution of programs. For the first time, HCP is bringing together First Nations experts and others interested in food sustainability. There are many First Nations in the CRD who are already involved in, in growing their own food. And so the intent here is to get them all together, for them to talk about what works, what doesn't work, what are the solutions, what are the challenges. HCP is seeking input from those closely involved with food security at community levels, both urban and rural, and hopes this will be the first of many such workshops. Try and discover common tools, common learning methods that can be used not just here in Victoria, which is of course the garden city of, of Canada, but also in places as far away as Fort St. John or even Winnipeg. Find out more at hcp.ca.